definitely dermatologist. So you would like to know more about RFM or radio frequency microneedling and what it can do for your acne scars. So with all of these treatments, including lasers, microneedling, radio frequency microneedling, they are all non-specific treatments. In other words, they can help with general acne scars, but they are not designed to target a particular scar type. Now, how does RFM differ from simple microneedling, which you can do at home safely? Well, RFM delivers heat, controlled heat through specific needles, which penetrate the deeper layers of skin where your scars lie. Now, this heat is very important because it remodels collagen a lot better compared to cold needles. Now, it is extremely important to understand not all RFM devices are alike. They vary a huge amount. For example, if you use a non-insulated radio frequency microneedling device, you're delivering a whole heap of energy throughout the entire length of the needle. But if you use a good brand, for example, Genius, Infini, Intensive, Morpheus 8, all of these devices provide a good amount of energy. Some of these devices provide insulated energies. In other words, the needle itself has got insulation and the heat is delivered right at the tip. This is important, especially if you have darker skin type or if we're using higher energy settings. Now, radio frequency microneedling is best for deep scarring, including rolling and atrophic scars. However, in most situations, if you have superficial scars like box scar scars or even pigment at the top of your skin, lasers are much better than microneedling. As a specialist, I combine many techniques, including radio frequency microneedling together with peels, lasers and surgery to come up with a good option for patients based upon their scar type. So to learn more about radio frequency microneedling and what it can do for your acne scars, visit the Cutest Dermatology website for more information.